allow us to present Mr. and Mrs. Josiah Smith, average Americans of a half century ago. Younger than the average Americans of today, but then their chances of growing to a ripe old age were clouded with many threats. In the last 50 years, the sky has been cleared of many of yesterday's perils, and today the average American lives longer. But it's well recognized that medical science, while helping him live longer, pretty fair on the whole. But while there's very little smallpox now, there's plenty of high blood pressure. Diphtheria is rare now, but the spreading waistline is spreading. And along with it, troubles of the heart, kidneys, and blood vessels, and other problems of a constantly aging population. For the control of many of these conditions, early detection is important. Therefore, recent years have seen increasing interest in mass screening devices. For example, diabetes detection drives using blood sugar tests or urine sugar tests have been tried in many communities. The idea is to screen apparently well people not already under their doctor's care. Objective tests are used. Those with sugar findings above a specific standard are referred to their physicians. Thus, many unsuspected cases have received early attention from their doctors. But to avoid the duplication of effort in screening one month for diabetes, another month for tuberculosis, and another for syphilis, the question has been asked, why not combine various screening tests? Instead of many separate screening lines, why not combine them into one, multiple screening? Multiple screening makes use of a series of technical tests, each taking less than three minutes. Multiple screening does not involve diagnosis. The idea is to sift from apparently well people, those who may have a latent disease or an unrecognized disability, and to refer them to their physicians. Wherever such a project is carried out, the local medical society will help select the tests that are included. A multiple screening project can be done on a small or a large scale to suit community needs. For example, if blood is to be taken for a syphilis case finding project, such blood samples can also be examined for diabetes and anemia. This is multiple screening in one of its simplest forms. If it is decided to add x-ray, the x-rays can be read for tuberculosis, for certain heart abnormalities, and even for lung cancer. If it is decided to use urine sugar tests for diabetes rather than blood sugar tests, the urine can also be examined for nephritis. Other tests that can be added are height and weight, hearing and vision tests, blood pressure tests, oral examinations, and perhaps electrocardiographs. New tests can be added as they are developed. A community can select almost any combination of tests it wishes. In one rural program, two tests were used. In an urban area, four tests were used. In another urban area, seven tests were used. This is a matter for local decision. Each community can develop a multiple screening project to suit its own needs. The personnel needed for multiple screening includes some administrative personnel, laboratory personnel, and the personnel at the testing center or centers. An average testing center needs a receptionist, several technicians, several clerks, and a supervisor. These can be arranged in any convenient order. Such a testing center can screen in one day several hundred Mr. and Mrs. Joe Smiths. Mr. Smith arrives. The tests begin. Each test must be inexpensive to use, as specific as possible, and quickly done. Joe Smith spends only about three minutes on each test in the screening line. Technicians do the testing. At the end of the line, he is reminded that any positive reports will be sent to his own physician. 
This saves the most highly trained type of personnel, the physician, for the later work of interpretation, diagnosis, and treatment. Thus, through multiple screening, economical and effective mass case finding may be provided in any community. From the general population, the tests screen out those who appear to need medical supervision. These are referred to their own physicians. A few of them, of course, may be found by their physicians to be well. The others will be diagnosed as ill and treatment begun. Multiple screening can channel to physicians people with unsuspected serious diseases or minor disabilities early enough to stabilize, if not actually to correct, the condition. Many late complications can be avoided through early diagnosis and treatment. The private physician of today, because of the rising importance of the chronic diseases, is in a dilemma. Watching the stream of humanity passing his door, he knows that in his community there are unknown cases of tuberculosis, of diabetes, of syphilis, of glaucoma, of heart disease. He knows that many of them will not of their own accord seek medical attention until disease has won a firm foothold. He also knows that if he could find and treat them at an early stage, he could help them. What can the physician do? Ethics forbid him to put up a sign, to warn or persuade them. He cannot seek them out or call out to them. He must stand aside and remain silent. But multiple screening as a community project can do what must be done to combat the chronic diseases. It can turn some of the people, the ones in need of early attention, back to their own doctor's door. So the idea of multiple screening is to use mass screening devices on people in general, people who feel well, to bring unsuspected cases to their own physicians early enough to prevent complications or crippling illness, early enough to protect their health while they have it.